Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 24, Christmas Eve for all of you. Um, it is actually the 23rd of December. I'm outside checking on my, I cannot believe this lemon bulb did not die for the winter. Let me turn around and show you guys. So it's a little wilty. I was going to pull some of these leaves off and stick them into my tea. Um, they're very good for anxiety and stress and depression. Um, this actually was such a small plant and it got huge. So um, it's actually looking pretty good. And then I have some onions here. These aren't gonna be ready for months, but they're growing really well. Our remaining, what we have remaining on the lettuce, um, which I may harvest and pick. There's some down here that just is like, needs to come off. You know, it's just like, like that. I think, in fact, I'll put it over here for the birds. I don't know if the birds eat lettuce or not, but we'll sit it here. Look, they're, <laughs> it's all frozen. I don't know if they'll eat that. The, um, the little squirrel that comes over, he, he might eat that. If he don't eat it, I'll throw it out. And then I wanted to check on something else, um, that I was noticing. I don't know if you guys remember, I threw some spinach seeds in here. Well, looky, looky who's growing down there. Can you see these little guys, I just sort of threw in the little spinach and they're growing. And I think these are also onion seeds that I had planted. So they're babies, but they're coming up. So we're getting some sprouts. Um, and it looks like these are huge, huge. Yeah, these there's Nitro, he's ready to go inside. He does his business and he comes right back in. All right, so I must've hit the button and I wasn't filming. So I wanted to show you, I just picked a little bit of the lemon balm. It's doing really well. I'm gonna put that in my tea. Um, these are onions. They got, you know, I'll harvest those in the spring. But look, I got little onions that I planted from seed coming in. And then also these little guys, I don't know how well you guys are gonna see this, but that is um, spinach. I threw some spinach seeds. These are the, um, the remaining lettuce we like there's enough on here and here and here for me and Robert to have a salad so um, we'll probably harvest the rest of this lettuce uh, maybe today I don't know see all of these will get big so as I cut these off if, as I pull these off these other they just keep growing although we're getting a little head of something on the top here I don't know what that is like maybe the maybe it's getting ready to flower so we're kind of near the end of our of our lettuce but that did really well it's lasted all winter so far um, well, something was munching on it and I put the remaining like a couple of the old lettuce things right there so maybe the squirrels will eat it um, but anyway I was super excited to see right there that I got shoots coming up of spinach so we'll see what that turns into that'll be a nice little um, a nice little addition to our salads. Um, I'm trying to eat a little bit healthier. So I haven't done my makeup yet. I do have foundation and lip gloss on and that's it. I'm getting ready to do my makeup here in a minute. So I just want to say good morning to you guys and happy Christmas Eve. I hope you have wonderful plans tonight. I hope you're getting to see family or if you're not seeing family till Christmas day, I hope you have the coziest evening with your family at home and good food, good company, maybe a glass of wine. I think we've got plans for Christmas Eve we're going over to Robert's um, daughter's house and her husband, and then um, his son will be there as well as his ex-wife and her husband. Very nice people. And we are going to hang out with them and do Christmas Eve there. And then my kids are coming on Friday uh, for Christmas Day. And then, are you kidding? The chopper's down there. He, do, he never wants to come in. Chopper's got that German Shepherd fur, so he never wants to come in. Um, and then... On Saturday, Caitlin and TJ are going to be here. And I think my daughter and um, Drew and the baby will be here. So Friday and Saturday, we're going to have very, very busy days. And I know I'm only vlogging through. That actually is today my last vlog. Tomorrow's my last vlog. You'll see my last vlog on uh, Christmas Day. So I may vlog a little bit more because I'm going to be doing a weekly vlog anyways, just to show you guys the festivities and things like that. But anyway, I'm getting ready to go make some tea and put my lemon balm in it. It makes it, it's so great for depression, anxiety, stress, all of that. And I am going to, I may plant some bulbs and irises and things today that I need to still get in the ground. Um, but I got a lot of wrapping to do. All those gifts I showed you yesterday and they're not wrapped except the boots for Robert, those are wrapped. Um, so I've, I have, and I have, Robert's coming over in a couple hours. I just did a bunch of laundry. We're gonna go finish up Christmas shopping and I got it. So I'm, I'm gonna see if I can get some of this wrapping done before he gets here. Um, and then I have um, 
lots of laundry to finish. I have to buy the ingredients for the cheesy casserole potato dish that I showed you guys with the, um, that I put the potato chips on top in another vlog. So we've got to do that. Um, so a lot to do today. Let me show you Chopper. Chopper's whole goal in life is to stand here to look at the dogs that are over there, but they're not over there right now and bark at them. Chopper, come on, buddy. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go make my tea. I just folded a bunch of laundry and I've got like two piles of huge, massive piles of socks. All the socks were like laying in there, like, come on, go in. Not put together and they're, I just gotta get them done. So the TV's on, which is why I'm trying to stay out here because it's, it's gonna be loud. All right, I'm gonna finish getting ready and I'll pop back in with you guys later. Wow, it's amazing what you can get done when you actually have time off. I got all of my Christmas cards done two days before Christmas, of course. So they're gonna all get their Christmas cards after Christmas. So they'll be more like New Year's New Year's cards. But I don't I don't care. I think like I enjoy getting cards even if they come after Christmas. I think it's a long lost art that we don't do anymore. And I put stickers on them. Oop. Oh, let me show you guys. I put little stamps on the back. I don't know how well that's showing. And then I put little stickers. So um let me see if there's anything in our mailbox our mail didn't come yesterday there's one little thing back here let's see flag up okay the person who says it can't be done should not interrupt the person doing it congrats on an amazing month keep going this is from my sensi leader um i am doing sensi with karen over at um, the two orchids she's actually i signed up right underneath her and um, Jen is our leader above that. And she said, Terry, congrats on an awesome November. I hope your family has an amazing holiday. I'm excited to watch your business grow. You guys know I just do Scentsy because I really love the products and my house always smells amazing because of them. Um, I still do burn candles from time to time, but not like I did. Oh, that stray cat was out here yesterday. Um, I put more food out. Doesn't look like he, doesn't look like he's eaten it, but he ate the other stuff. So I got him a little crate with some warm, you know, blankets and stuff and then some food up there. He's been playing at night. We have um, Christmas lights that move and they make like, they look like a red laser kind of moving around on the house. And I hear boom, boom, boom. And at night he comes up here and he plays with it when we have the lights on. So um, he did eat all of that food and he's been coming up here every night. And so I'm just gonna keep, as long as I can afford it, keep leaving him food. I need to put some water out here because he's probably just eating like puddles of water and stuff. So I need to put some fresh water out here for him too. Um, he's super feral, so I'm not gonna be getting close to him. It's a little chilly in the shade. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go in and finish the rest of my day. Okay guys, I wanted to give you an update on today. Um, so I wrapped some presents this morning. I did laundry, which needs to be put away. It's all folded, but it needs to be put away. And um, Robert took the day off. He um, is being sent to a, I think an orthopedic doctor for his knee. He's in a lot of pain. Um, he was in a lot of pain. We went um, Christmas shopping today to get some stuff for his kids and he was struggling. He's been upstairs since we got home. Uh, we watched a movie and then we just came down here and we made waffles in this like little mini waffle maker that I didn't even know that we had. Um, so we made blueberry waffles for dinner. No, it's not really a dinner food, but it was for us tonight. Um, I am giving his ex-wife and her husband just a little thank you. They adopted Oliver, the little one-eyed kitty from us. Um, if I can find a picture of what Oliver looks like today, because I know you guys kind of saw his journey and he had to have his eye removed. And that was the kitty that we picked up that we thought was dead. Um, he wasn't really moving and Robert picked him up and he like made a noise or something and we rushed him to the vet. They removed his eye. I'm just going through the story in case anybody is new. And um, as much as we loved Oliver, oh, what a sweet, sweet baby boy that cat was. Um, we could not keep him and uh, his ex-wife was looking for a kitty. I was a little bit worried about it because she has six or seven chihuahuas, but let me tell you, it looks like that cat rules the roost. The cat is in charge um, and they all lay together on the bed. They love her. They love a cat. Cat loves them. So she is a pink. She's always wearing pink. She loves pink probably more than I do. Pink and sparkly. We actually have a lot in common. So I'm making her, I just did a wash ornament, which I want to show you. So I took two of the white ornaments and I put some pink paint and then I wiped it off and it kind of sunk in. So, and I'm going to put the black and white ribbon on these. 
So here is what the pink ones look like. Didn't they come out so cute? And then I think that they will, oops, wrong, wrong ribbon. I think that they will look really cute once they dry and I put the black ribbon on them. I think she'll really like those. So I'm just going to put those in a little bag as a little thank you for her to her. I'm going to make two of them are going to go to Robert's real estate agent um, that he that he does a ton of work with. Um, I sent one down to my mom and I'm going to give one to each of like the kids that have a home that have a place, you know, like my daughter-in-law, I'm going to give her one. And I actually think she'll just like the, just the simple plain one because she's got a lot of red on her tree. Um, so we're just kind of giving these out and they're just so wonderful. And so I love how the paint came out. So I just used a little paint and water, went over the whole thing and it was pretty covered when I did that. And then what is that? Something not supposed to be on there. And then, um, oh, now it's stuck on me. And then I like washed it. I took a, I just took a napkin and I wiped the, any of the wet paint off and the remaining pink paint sort of sunk down into the design and really brought the design out. So anyway, um, not a lot going on today because um, I'm kind of hanging with Robert today, chilling with him. He is, he just needs to rest. Uh, he's just, he's struggling. Um, I'm really worried actually about his knee. He like, it pop, it's popping and he twisted it and uh, the doctor put him on Meloxicam for, cause he's already on pain meds cause he has a broken back and then he's on Meloxicam for his, um, inflam to, I guess to take inflammation down, which I have. It's also used for arthritis. I have it for arthritis in my knees, my hips <laughs> and, um, and my ankle. I have really, really bad ankles from playing softball for years and years and years. If you didn't know that about me, I was like a massive whiz, like awesome softball player. <laughs> um, my daddy made me go to all the clinics, the fast pitch, pitch windmill clinics. Um, goodness gracious. I like, I was on so many leagues. I was on the school league. I, my favorite spot was shortstop. My dad's favorite spot was to put me in catcher and center field because, um, <laughs> story time. So I hated catching. I hated catching so much, but my dad loved me to catch because I could throw a line drive down to, um, second base and get the, uh, if somebody was stealing, I could get them out. And he liked to have me, when I got tired of that, put in uh, center field because I could catch the ball and from center field in one shot th without bouncing, throw it back to the catcher. He said I had the strongest um, arm on my team. And Robert looked at him, he was telling him the other day, and Robert goes, what happened? I'm like, hey, um, actually not too long ago, I was coaching softball and I was coaching JV for a high school without a feeder team. And actually they hadn't won any games in nine years. And they told me, don't even try to teach, these kids aren't gonna win. Just, they, just teach them how to hit a ball and catch. So that was our first goal. I actually had a lefty pitcher, so I handled the infield and the um, the pitching. Um, I brought Drew on my team because Drew was an excellent, excellent ball player, and he could hit my pitches. He was the only one that could. So I pitched to him, and he was nailing them all over the field. I'd say, give him, put him left field, center, right field. He was doing so good. And the girls were like, can we just put a wig on Drew and like have him be a part of the team? I said, you know, so they they got learned to love the game. By the end of the season, we won, I think, three games and we tied one. Those were the first games those girls had won um, that anybody in that school had won in nine years. They asked me to come back on varsity the next year. I also got invited by Drew's old, we went to play a game and Drew's old travel ball coach was there, saw me coaching and he was like, what you, what you, what are you doing here? And I told him, you know, how much I have, how much experience I have in um, the game and, uh, I think we beat his team actually. And he asked me to come coach varsity for high school, but then I got a job, a full-time job and I couldn't do it. But I will tell you that was probably the most rewarding, the re most rewarding year I've ever had in ball. I loved playing, I loved coaching more. I had some challenging kids. I will tell you, I had challenging parents too. Um, it was a very underprivileged um, group of kids of girls and um, so they didn't come from great backgrounds. They had no experience in baseball and then they had some emotional issues on top of it. So anyway, our team began, began to become one that they were, they had so much fun by the end of the season. I felt so bad leaving them, but um, I was going through a divorce and getting, um, getting a full-time job. So um, let's go look at BoxyCharm Lux. 
and let's see what we can find in that box. Hold on. All right, I was actually trying to get some extra light in here, but um, I think my daughter took the, the, I think she took my box. So I have a ring light, but it uses like the box you use to charge your phone to plug it in and that's gone and she is gone, she is at work. So I think she took it. Um, but anyway, I think we can see enough to see what's in here. This is the Boxy Lux. This comes once a quarter and I believe it's $50. And so there's a $25 basic box, a $35 premium box, and then the Boxy Lux, which comes every quarter. So the quarter that you get Boxy Lux, you get Boxy Premium and Boxy Lux. You don't get the basic box, I think. I hope I'm telling you that right. Now, if you guys wanna sign up for BoxyCharm, if you are new to makeup, if you're trying to get some new brand name makeup, um, this is a great way to start, especially if you really can't afford to get the kind of makeup you would really like to, that you see on YouTube that you would like to try out. Um, now, you don't have to start with Boxy Lux, but it is amazing. You get over like 300 or $350 worth of product for 50 bucks. So it's really a great deal. Um, in fact, my mom looked in here when she was here with me and she liked some things in here. And I, I, she was like, well, I don't know if that's worth it, 50 bucks. And I showed her and she's like, oh, it's definitely worth it. But even if you just get the basic box, which is five items, that's usually over about between, I think, 150. I think my Boxy Lux or my Boxy Charm Basic last month was like 185 or something. It was a re really great value for 25 bucks. All right, so let's get in here. I will have my link down below for you. And with that link, um, if you use it, I believe you and I both get 500 boxy charms. Those charms will get you um, free makeup and products in the pop-up room and stuff. So you can go and redeem your charms and you can purchase, 500 charms is five bucks, okay? You can purchase something in there. All right, so Bubbles and Glitz is the same theme that we had for the other one. One of the items I got in here that's awesome, it didn't come with a cap and I, I wanna know if you guys got this and if yours came with a cap. It just came like this with no cap. Um, and this is the Good Jeans All-in-One Lactic Acid Treatment by Sunday Riley. I have used this before. It is wonderful, but uh, no cap. So I was a little concerned. Um, didn't come in a box or anything, I don't believe. Let me just look, because I did open this up. I don't think anything's fallen out of it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we have everything in here, but yeah, no box for this. Um, and it's locked, it's in a locked position, so it hasn't been used or anything like that. Um, but I'm just curious if you guys got this and if yours came with a cap or in a, bo in a box or anything. Like, I think this should have come in a box. All right, so where is it? Sunday Riley, Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment. $85. This is something I really enjoyed. I absolutely wouldn't have paid for that that much for it. It's a multitasked, targeted lactic acid treatment. It exfoliates and boosts natural youthful radiance while visibly reducing the look of lines, wrinkles, and dark spots. It's a high potency formula, exfoliates dull, pore clogging dead skin cells to instantly clarify and reveal smoother, clearer skin with skin brightening licorice. The super concentrated treatment also visually reduces the look of dark spots and discoloration caused by exposure to the sun for naturally brighter, even toned skin, and it's $85. I will tell you that I have a little spot right, right here. And it was almost like, like a weird skin thing, like, um, not a skin tag, but like something wrong with the skin. I can still feel it, it's still there. When I was using this, it, it kind of cleared it up. Um, it's much better now than it's, than it's ever been, but I believe it was due to using this. I, however, only had a tiny little tube, like a little sample, so I'm super excited to get the big one to be able to use that, and that's $85. Then we got this Avant Glycolic Mica Arginine Urea Shea Butter. Okay, intensive redensifying glycolic acid day moisturizer um, from Avant, which is another really expensive skincare. Um, so this is the ideal remedy against time. It's a day moisturizer, which aims to offer complete response to signs of skin slacking. A revolutionary formula with rich texture combines glycolic acid and mica to correct the effects of epidermal aging and improve your skin's density, luminosity, and volume. 
This is $123. Again, it got real beat up in this box because the box is black and it must've been bouncing around in there and it got beat up, but $123 for this day cream. So between that and the lactic acid treatment from Sunday Riley, my skin's gonna be looking good, girl. All right, so then I got this black, blue, and green glitter gel eye pens, and it says threesome and hot mess by Rockin' Cosmetics. And on the back, it says threesome. So um, these I'm kind of excited about, and I'll try to see if I can, um, if I can open these, I'll, I'll put them and swatch them. All right, so these are $40 in value, and you get three in here. You get, a, you get in a hot mess with Rockin's Maxi Glitter Gel Pen Threesome. Choose from one of these three intense shades, Viridian Green, Midnight Blue, or b -Nick Black. Blend all around the eye to create a drama and sparkly dance floor magic. Well, that sounds special. All right, so these are Chunky Monkeys. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to open them. So here's what they look like. And I wanna try, see if I can get the green open. Actually, hold on, I'll pause the video and so you don't have to watch me fight with this and get these open and I'll swatch them for you. All right, let's try these little Chunky Monkeys out. This is the blue glitter eye pen. There's the blue, it's got a little bit of glitter in it. I wouldn't say it's crazy glitter at all. I would say that is a subtle glitter to me. Um, the formula feels amazing in here though. So let's try the green bean. And I don't know what the real color is. Oh, I didn't get all the paper off. So let's see. Ooh, these are gorgeous. This would be a beautiful, beautiful one. It's more metallic than glittery. That'd be stunning. Um, I wonder if that blends out. Yep. Oh, how pretty. Look, you can blend those out too. I'm making a huge mess of my hands, but whatever. All right, and then we have the black one. Very rich, very pretty. So those are the three beautiful shades. These are going to be a lot of fun to play with because um, I think you can kind of smoke your eye out and just like really make a, a pretty um, and then under the eye. Those are going to be so fun. All right. So that's $40. So right there, we're well over $200 with those three products. So $83, $126, and $40. Bucks. All right. Next up, we got a set of, I believe these are Luxie brushes. And these are glitter and gold brush set a complete range of brushes for foundation contouring highlighting and blending the set has all you need to create the perfect holiday look and the fabulous set comes tucked inside a durable easy to clean festive red brush pouch another 85 dollar item here it is it says it says luxie but i don't think you guys can see that maybe you can right there can you see it so it says Luxie on it. And then I think these are just face brushes. Oh no, you've got a set of face brushes. Wow. A set of face brushes and all of your pen, all of your um, eye, eye pens. What a fabulous, fabulous set that is. That is great. You can do everything you need and what a great travel um, item here too. And a great gift if you didn't, you know, want to keep it for yourself. 85 bucks. All right, so then, we also got this Butte te Teeth Whitening Cat, which I'm super excited about. Um, it's got a tray. It looks like it's got the um, whitening gel and then the LED light that you put in your mouth. Um, and it doesn't look too big. Sometimes those are too big for me as my mouth is really little. I have issues with them. So, and it, you, it says you do this in 15 minutes and there's one to two shades lighter in each treatment is what you'll see. 15 minute sessions and no sensitivity. Does it say how much comes in this? I don't know how long this white, how many treatments the whitening gel will get you, but anyway, let's see how much this is. Uh, all right, so this is the OG Smile Kit. Whitens and brightens your smile 15 minutes from binge watching Netflix to jet setting around the globe. Butte's mission is to accompany you in the clouds, elevating your self-care routine while maintaining angel status. $89. 
$89. Guys, everything we got is so expensive and it's so wonderful. All right, and then we have, these might be my holiday lashes. We got a really beautiful pair of lashes by Lava Lashes Los Angeles. Hold on, I'm not seeing if I, yeah, Lava Lashes Charm Foam Ink, lightweight, fluffy, hand-crafted luxury lashes. They blend seamlessly with your natural lash and add the perfect amount of glam to any look, and they are $19.99. And look at how pretty. Oh, they're pretty. I want to get into them. I don't have a thing here to open them. I can't open them. But anyway, look how pretty. They're light and fluffy. Those are the kind I like. I like really light and fluffy. I like the ones that get bigger on the end so they kind of lift your eye a little bit. So awesome. All right. And then, my friends, we got two palettes. So the first one is by Iconic London. This looks fun. All right, so this one is the Blaze Chaser. Oh, this is a face palette. And um, this one is, let's see, it says featuring six shades of butter smooth velvety powders that complement all skin tones. The con Convenient palace con Palette contains shades for sculpting and bronzing to add a natural warmth and definition, blush shades that lift the face and give you that must have lip from within glow and a highlight shade for a flatting flattering i can't talk tonight candlelight radiance so this is going to be fun i thought it was an eyeshadow palette Ooh, look at this really fun so you've got a couple bronzer shades you've got a highlight and a couple of cheek shades that's fun this one was 55 dollars for the face palette and then we have a hip dot palette and this is a pressed eyeshadow palette and it says um, unleash your inner goddess look at how pretty the box is um, through the alluring blues and gleaming golds of cenote and homage to the sacred underground pools of mexico in this hyper pigmented palette you'll find a mix of mattes and shimmers pulled directly from the magical deep I don't know if I'll keep this. Um, if there's a lot of blues in here, blues are not, I don't wear blue. Um, they're not the best color for me because I have blue eyes. Oh yeah, it's beautiful, but definitely is not, I, I wouldn't use about a third of this palette. I, I, I can tell you right now, the only colors that I would use are here, maybe this one. I would not use these. Um, it's really beautiful. This palette would be really great for somebody with brown eyes or green eyes even, I think. I think that would be really pretty. I'm trying to think if I know anybody with brown eyes. I think everybody I know has blue eyes. Uh, my daughter-in-law has blue eyes. My um, other almost daughter-in-law has blue eyes, I think, too. Kenzie has blue eyes. Anybody that I would have a gift to give a gift to has blue eyes. So this might end up going in a giveaway for you guys. So let me, did I tell you how much this one was? $30. All right. So I don't know what this value is, but I'll let you guys know. I want to give you guys an update. Some of you have asked what is going on with the 12 days of Christmas. Did I pick the winners? No. So Kenzie and I just went to the post office the other day and picked up 12 boxes. I'm going to get all of, some of the gifts are kind of half wrapped. So I'm going to, and the, it, the reason is I, I needed to still take pictures of it uh, because I'm going to put everything, I'm going to wrap everything and put them in the box and get them ready to be shipped. Then I'm going to have a video and I'm going to show all of you guys. Um, this will be after Vlogmas because it's just too much for me to do before. But I'm going to have a video unveiling each of the items that was in the giveaway, all 12 of the items. And then we are going to pick the winners. So um, I don't know if that's going to be one or two videos. It might be like, a, here's what all the prizes are. And then it might be after that, the um, a, a uh, an entire, you know, just mini video picking 12 winners. So, and announcing them. And then the winners will have a set amount of time to get back with me with their address. Um, they're going to need to email me. They can message me on um, Instagram. I'm on, I'm, I'm on Instagram at Southern Yankee 15. If you want to look at me, look for me there. That would actually be a great place to send your address to me um, because 
it doesn't get lost in the shuffle of all the millions of emails that I'm getting. I've been missing a lot of emails recently. In fact, a couple of you have asked for my son's address to send him a card, a note, a care package, whatever. And um, if I missed your email, um, either try me again or hit me up on Instagram because I'm just not getting all my emails. I, I, I have like half a million emails and unread emails in my thing. It's just, it's a 25 year old email address that I've had forever and I, I'm probably going to need to change it. So, um, and you know, anything would cheer that boy up. I mean, he's really missing his family, especially this time of year. And even if it comes late, it's absolutely okay. Um, and I did warn him because I didn't want him to get some random cards from people he didn't know. And like, you know, so I said, Hey, if you get, you know, a card or something from my subscribers, you know, that's who it's from. If they're from people, people you don't know, it's from my subscribers. And he's like, Oh, oh my gosh, how nice. So, um, anyhow, um, so just either hit me up on Instagram or try emailing me again. Um, you can comment on the video that you, that you did email me so I can look for your email, um, in case I missed it. So I did get a couple of you guys. I think I sent back the, um, uh, the reply with his address. Um, it's here, his receptacle. It's a U.S. mailing address. So I thought shipping to South Korea was going to be super expensive. I sent him two boxes that were, um, the, I think they were the large size priority mailing, mailing boxes. And it came to like 19 or 20, 25 bucks. One was a little heavier than the other, something like that. Um, so it, it, the way that it is, even though he's in South Korea, it's still considered a U.S. mailing address. So it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, anyhow, all right, so we have to do, that was a great boxy charm, really great. We're gonna do one of our Ulta, we have two more left. You guys have this vlog and then you're gonna have another vlog and then we're gonna take a little break for the holidays and enjoy our families. Um, so we have two left, I had to cut them, they were getting crazy. So, all right, that's 12. So let's do that one tomorrow and let's do this one. See, it fell off. Let's do this one tomorrow and this one today. And then we will end today's vlog. I know I didn't do a whole lot on this one, guys. I'm sorry. I just I was kind of tending to Robert today. Ooh, pretty. This is a made in China. <laughs> Not my favorite place right now. I don't think it's many of ours. Um, a beautiful highlight. It's got a little star on it. Can you guys see that? Let me see if I can swatch this. Ooh, it's a creamy highlight. I wasn't expecting. Oh, my God. Look at that. I was not expecting this to be cream. I thought it was going to be a powder and it's like a cream to powder. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, I can't wait to play with that. I wasn't expecting that to be as great as it is. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this is so fun. This feels amazing. It doesn't show up because you can't see because it's so dark out. It actually just looks like I'm putting something dark on my skin right now but it's not. Um, oh, that's a fun one. I'm gonna keep that out. I'm gonna play with that tomorrow. All right, now our lash. Oops, one of the lashes just fell out. All right, so lash is day 11, right here. Here we go. So these are the Ardell Black 603. There we go a little bit more spread apart make your eyes look a little bit bigger very pretty all right I'm gonna have fun putting all these lashes on I really Ardell's are my favorite and there's another one I liked that I tried too I can't remember the name of that one though Loxy Luxy I don't know what it was all right so we are on day 24 we're almost done I can't believe vlogmas is almost over how do I open this one can't find the, oh, here, it's on top. There we go. Ooh, a pore filler primer. Looks like a full size too. That's really nice. So that is a pore filler primer for before your makeup. Very nice. And that might be the end of this one actually. I don't, I think this was only 24 days. I don't think, yeah, that's it. There's that was our final day and that's why we got a full size. So, so it was a 24 day. So we won't, we're done with this one. Before I throw that out, I know I stuck some of the gifts back in there. So I have to get them all out. All right, guys. So I hope you guys have enjoyed um, watching all the Vlogmas videos. 
Um, I got more gifts that will be wrapping. I'm gonna be massive wrapping tomorrow. That's that's the goal is to, I'm gonna be putting two gift baskets together for Robert's kids tomorrow. I have to put a little something together for his um, real estate agent. I'm gonna give her, I think, a couple ornaments from me as well. And I gotta put the ribbon on the pink ones for his ex-wife and her husband. And I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in a little bit.